Okay, I'm out here this morning with my 25 out six. Uh, my plan is a mile plus 30 yards with it. Yesterday, my father was out here and we were doing some shooting and I had a go at that mile target and I did not get a hit yesterday at the mile target. In fact, it was kind of depressing what I what I was doing with it yesterday. But it's a, uh, uh, yesterday I was shooting on the bench. Today I'm gonna shoot prone, see if that changes anything. This is a uh, Savage Model 112. I bought it in the early 90s. It has a 26 inch barrel. Uh, the mount is a uh, 20 minute of angle adjustment on tilt on the mount. The scope is a Leupold uh, four and a half by 14. It has 30 millimeter tube. It has uh, 90 minutes of uh, adjustment in it. And right now I'm maxing out at about 60 or 65 minutes of adjustment. So, uh, as I was aiming yesterday, I found out I had to aim a mil to two mils high yesterday. So we'll see what happens this morning. Uh, shooting prone, uh, I have a tendency to shoot better prone than I do off of the bench. Although this is a brand new bench and I'm finding out that it's better than the old bench I was using. But anyway, 25 out six, uh, mile plus 30, 115 grain burger, leaving the barrel 3,200 feet a second. Center target, uh, one mile plus 30, 25 out six. <laughs> 25 out six going after the center target. One mile plus 30 yards. One mile plus 30. Better target. Center target, 25 out six, one mile plus 30. Boom, I got it. One mile plus 30, I heard the dung. Left knockdown target, 12 inches wide, 18 inches tall. I knew it. I come down a little bit and that's what it does. Down goes Frazier. Now, I think that might have been a skip in. It's hard to say.
Okay, that was one mile plus 30. That target's 12 inches wide, 18 inches tall. I think it might have skipped in. I'll have to check it in the morning when I uh, hike out there tomorrow morning. Coming up to my uh, mile plus 30 target, 1,790 yards. This is the plate that I accidentally knocked down when I was aiming at this target, which is a full-size silhouette plate. I clearly heard the ring in the video. I watched it yesterday afternoon. So if you did not hear it the first time, from the time the shot went off to it arrived here, it took a little over three seconds. And then the uh, time for the sound to get back to the shooting position is about five seconds. So a little over eight seconds from the time you hear the gunshot go off, that's when you would hear the ring. So turn your volume up if you didn't hear it. It is very clear on my computer and the video that I've edited so far. Now coming over here to this left knockdown plate, 12 inches wide, 18 inches tall. I thought it was a skip in, looked like a skip in, and yes, it was a skip in. All right, I shot a total of 17 rounds today. Uh, since I don't suffer from the cancer that is political correctness, I won't lie to you. That right target, I was aiming at the center target. I announced it on the uh, camera there, and the right one went down. I mean, I could always leave that part out and claim I knocked it down, but that's not what happened. Uh, the left target, uh, I believe it was a skip in on it. Uh, there's a chance it hit low on the target. If it hits low on the target, sometimes you'll have that big cloud of dust like that. But uh, with the cloud of dust that I saw, I think it skipped in. Uh, you probably already saw the video of that, whether it's a skip in or not. So, But right now, it looked to me like a skip in. It's not the first time on one of my videos that I skipped. I thought it was a skip in round, and it just hit low on the target. So that's a chance that's what happened. But I believe it was a skip in. The uh, hit on the center target, I heard the ring on it. I also saw the splash in the scope, so I didn't say anything. I didn't move. I kept quiet, and I heard the ring. Uh, but I have a target camera down there, which seems to be turned on at the moment, uh, or at least ways it started back up. But it, even though I had it on, it gave me no feedback, so I didn't hear the steel hit, hit on there because it would have been really loud. Uh, I have a set of Burr signature rings at home. Things went well enough for me today that I want to have enough adjustments so that I'm not holding over. So I'm going to put the signature rings on here. I'll be shooting at a mile some more. And then on the bench there, I was not properly every time getting it into my shoulder. I've got to, I've got to work on my prone shooting for sure. But I do really well shooting prone. I, I did better this morning shooting prone than I did yesterday on the bench. Uh, when my father was here, it slides forward, so I've got to figure something out. But once I get that set up to where I can just lean my shoulder into it a little bit and not have it sliding forward, then I'm going to be able to have a light hold here on the gun. If I'm hanging on too tight here, it starts shaking just slightly. So what happens is I can tell that, and I'll loosen up my grip till everything just calms down and stops, and then I let it go. But sometimes when that happens, uh, there's not enough pressure on the front of the bipod. So... Uh, It'll be interesting to see what happens going forward.